Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to make Play-Doh. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is flour, salt, water, veggie oil, cream of tartar, food coloring, a pan, and a oven. All right, so happy National Play-Doh Day. Uh, it's the September 16th, and we're going to start off with one cup or 225 milliliters of flour, and then one cup of water. Uh, which is 250 milliliters of water and then we're going to uh, add our um, veggie oil we need one teaspoon of the veggie oil so which is about four, about 4.93 milliliters um, I'm trying to do the best I can on milliliters sorry if I'm off a little and then we're going to add um, two teaspoons of cream of tartar and so um, that's about 10 milliliters of cream and tartar. And so you add that in there, you get both of those in. And then we're going to um, be adding about, or not about, or we're going to be adding a quarter cup of, of salt, regular house salt. And that's about 59 milliliters. And then we're going to add your favorite food coloring. So now you guys all know blue is my favorite color. And I'm going to do about five drops. So um, you can do as many as you want. The more you do, the darker the Play-Doh, right? So um, I'm doing five drops and of uh, my favorite color. And then you're going to stir it. You're going to want to stir it until there is no more lumps. You, you do not want any lumps in it. So it might take a little while. Stir it up and get it completely stirred. And then I'll check back after I get all the lumps out. All right, so I've got uh, just about all the lumps out, um, maybe a couple left in there. But then what I'm going to do is uh, scrape it off into a pan. So I'm using, I think it's about um, just a regular square pan. I don't even know the measurement on it. Just get one that, you know, that it could fit in. So uh, we're going to be putting it in the stove. So uh, get that in there uh, nice and neat. No spill there, so that's always nice. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Um, I set the oven for 350 degrees um, and uh, put it on for three minutes. It ended up taking about nine minutes. So I checked every three minutes and if it comes out like this, where, where we pull it out, um, it looks, you don't want it liquidy. This is still kind of a little bit of liquidy and you want to let it cool before you touch it. And so I let it cool down and then I touched it and you can see it's still kind of sticky. So I ended up doing that a couple times. This is the third time and uh, that part is fine, but there's a little bit sticky. So I put it in for three more minutes, which was nine and we're ready to go. So now I've got the Play-Doh and now we're going to put it together and start uh, kneading in it uh, by playing around and squeezing it to get it to that right Play-Doh consistency. So remember, it's very important. You don't want to start kneading the Play-Doh until it's cooled down. I let it cool, and now I'm going to do that. And so if anyone's been on this channel before, now you know I'm going to explain the science behind it. So when heated, starch undergoes a gelization or a thickening process. This is due to the hydrogen bonding between the starch and the water molecules. The granulars of starch absorb the water and swell up. The starch granulars become tangled and lose all structure. So this gives the Play-Doh that unique texture that we're all used to. Most of us have used Play-Doh or have played with it, right? So um, Play-Doh is actually an example of a gel. Uh, a gel is a colon, uh, which is a liquid that's suspended in a solid. So um, an example of, of gels are jelly or gelatin. So um, this is pretty cool, uh, fun to play with. Uh, when you're done with it, you're just going to put it in a Ziploc bag, uh, something airtight, so it'll keep that... Uh, you know, texture um, and, and moist uh, feel. So after I got it all kneaded out and stuff, I mean, it felt just like real Play-Doh. I was able to do everything I would do with real Play-Doh. Um, the texture was great. I was able to roll it out and say, hey, uh, you know, happy National Play-Doh Day, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, and um, and do all, all kinds of things you would do with Play-Doh. So I was pretty impressed with the overall results and uh, it made me uh, pretty happy. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to sh share if you like it. Um, happy National Play-Doh Day and thanks for watching.